Well, at long last, summer is hitting its stride in the great Oregon outdoors. And if you're like me, on the hunt for outdoor adventure off the beaten path, time couldn't be better. Hi there, Grant McComey here, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week, way off the beaten path into the Tillamook State Forest to a small coastal stream you've likely missed for a little bit of fishing, a little bit of hiking, and some overnight camping. Join me as we explore the Trask River. River. High in the Oregon Coast Range, the Trask River hides small pockets of cool water and refreshing moments near a county park that's often overlooked called Trask River Park in Tillamook County. A sprawling campground that's a bit of a secret with 24 tent or trailer sites. And the lucky campers can even spend the night right along the river. Pretty much a full service campground, uh, not necessarily RV, more camp style. I think you can park some RVs, but they don't have RV hookups. But there's running water and vault toilets, more of a family-oriented type area. But it's just in a beautiful setting, and they have a nice day-use area so you can get down and use the river. The trail I like to travel is just down the narrow, winding ribbon of asphalt. You'll know the spot. Watch for bald eagles soaring overhead or midsummer wildflowers still showing off. And a large trailhead sign that marks the start of a moderate height called Peninsula Trail. It's on a very unique geological form. This peninsula is formed by the lava that came up, bubbled out of the earth, and, and created this hard basalt feature that the river couldn't cut through, so it has to go around. You'll see charred marks of burned out old growth from four major fires, collectively called the Tillamook Burns, that roared through this country in the last century. Where the trail loop turns to take you back, you'll find picnic tables for a river shore lunch, perfect place to linger for a while. It's a beautiful spot, especially when the river's down in the summer. Uh, you get a nice rocky beach that people like to go out and play on. I've been here where there have been parents with kids down there playing in the river. People go down there and fish and that sort of thing. While salmon, steelhead, and cutthroat trout swim in these waters, take some time to explore the river's nooks and crannies for something else. For this is where the crawfish live. Really easy to find. You walk out in, in any of the pools and, and even some of the swifter water, you start flipping over rocks, you're going to find some pretty quick. People will collect them by hand or they'll put out baited traps uh, similar to crabbing in the bay, only on a smaller scale. Real abundant resource to take advantage of if people are interested in that. I like to use a trap. It's a baited trap. You put the bait inside this thing, attach a rope, close her up and toss her into the creek for a few hours. You never know what you're going to find. I think that's part of the appeal of this. You can also use a baited line on a rod. The neat thing about crawdadding is that no license is required, not even the Oregon shellfish license, and you're allowed 100 per person per day, a very generous limit. Crawfish or crawdads or just plain dads are a creepy crawly kind of critter, and kids love to catch them, and they taste good too. At the trap, crawfish follow a baited scent and walk through a narrow, one-way funneled opening. We leave our trap in the river just a few hours until we've enough to cook. The taste of fresh-cooked crawfish is sublime, mild, shrimp-like, and somewhat delicate. Crawfishing at summertime confirm what you may suspect. You're never too old to be a kid again, especially during those warm dog days of summer. It's a little quieter, it's off the beaten path. It's a place where people hear about it from their friends or family members or if they know locals here, or if they want to have a little different experience where to get away from the crowd a little bit, this is where they come. Come out and enjoy it once in a while. Exploring the Trask River in the Tillamook State Forest can be a wonderful experience. And we provided the details, the directions, and even that crawfish cooking recipe right here on the Travel Oregon website. So until next week, get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors. And don't forget that crawfish trap. Until next week, I'm Grant McComey.